Hey guys, welcome back. This is Tony. Thanks for being here. I appreciate it. This week I'm working on a continuation of my metallics series with a darker background and some really cool metallics leading up in a few seconds here. And real quickly, thank you for all the feedback on last week's pour. I really, really appreciate it. Okay, and after a bit of success last week with some nice metallic cobalt blue, I decided to begin my pour with just that this week as well as some more folk art color shifting colors in a moment. And lastly, my metallic purple, which look just outstanding. Okay, one more bit of cobalt blue to fill up my corner there on my black base. And here we go with some blue flash from folk art, which actually looks kind of aqua and has a bit of a lighter look to it but really this is a very cool color i think i talked about this last week in that the folk art paint is color shifting so from here it looks a lighter blue uh, from the other side of my table it looks purple which is just very cool so um, i highly recommend the folk art brand as a choice to give a try with at least once in your pouring career so um, now here we go with some more layers of the same and leading into some blue violet in a second here on my second folk art color. I think really help this color or this piece story stand out as a, it differentiates the pores from others I've done because the colors are so different. Um, the purple will actually turn metallic bronze later on and the lighter blue will turn silver, which is a very cool feature of this paint. Now, one thing I wanted to make sure I did was have enough paint on my canvas because I have had pores where, of course, I have not let, not mixed enough paint for what I need for my entire canvas. So, as I finish with the metallic flash, our viol metallic violet flasher by Folk Art, I'm going to add a bit more of a metallic purple to add a bit of contrast as a darker color on the entire pore. I thought that these colors initially, just from the, just standing behind them, looked a little too similar, but again, with the fact that the folk art paints do color shift, I was confident in that once I swiped through them, they would look very unique side to side and I became less concerned at the fact that these colors look very similar all together. But again, once I go through them with the palette knife, they look very cool individually. Okay, last week I did joke that I needed a bigger palette knife, so I have purchased bigger palette knives and I broke out the smaller yet wider knife this week for this pour and I think that this knife does a much better job than my skinny uh, three inch knife last week. So if you haven't had a chance to check it out, check out the last week's swipe compared to this one and it took me um, twice as long this past week and I zipped through this one real quick. So. This palette worked really, really well. Um, I'm using Amsterdam Titanium White as my cell activator, as well as it's mixed with one third paint to two thirds Floetrol and two or three drops of Penetrol as my additive, which makes the cool lacing and cell effects. So again, this knife made much better lacing um, lanes, we'll call them. And again, bigger knives are on the way, so I'm looking forward to giving those a try once they arrive here from the good old Amazon. And if any of you have any suggestions on where I could get several more knives, I would appreciate those as well in the comments below. Anyway, this, this swipe went very well and I was quite pleased with how the colors looked all together across the entire canvas. I found that the color blends looked really good and gave a good compliment to one another as I finished up on this last corner with my cobalt blue and the purple shifting colors in the corner. Now, as you guys know, I do like darker backgrounds. I've got a question. So I guess shortly after I did my video last week on my first metallics um, swipe in a while, I, I had read on some, some channel comments that Artist Loft Black or Ivory Black specifically um, tends to absorb a lot of the color that you see on the canvas now um, just because it sucks in the color just kind of drowns it all together 
once it dries. So I guess my question is, which other paints would you suggest to use as a dark background that wouldn't just let that color sink into the black and have less pop in the end? So any recommendations for it would be outstanding. You gotta get it in the comments below and I appreciate the feedback. Okay, now as I begin to tilt things around here, um, I was really incredibly happy with how the lacing looked because of the wider palette knife. I think it gave a bit more dimension to this pour, which looks much better than I think even last week. So for the color combinations and the actual lacing plus cells you can see on this pour, maybe a bit of a step up from last week. Now, after that tilt just there, you can see in the corner the Colors change from purple to bronze, purple to bronze. That is maybe the coolest thing I've ever seen back on a video. Um, again, maybe I'm a metallics geek, but I love it. I think that that color shifting folk art, folk art pardon me, is a great color. And it just adds again that, that small little extra to a pore that maybe a regular purple or red or blue you use regularly doesn't have. So again, we can see the metallics in the, the, the bronze, sorry in these angles plus going back to the purple so again full cart i would give a try at least one time in your your pouring career or if you paint in general um, give a color shifting paint a, a try now in keeping with the metallics theme this week i want you guys' opinions on what you think comparatively to last week's pour again if you, if you haven't seen the video last week it's similar but different um, Again, with a darker background, but also some similar colors, metallics wise. Which do you prefer, this week's pattern or last week's pattern? I'm very curious. I think this week's may be a bit better, simply for the fact I used two color shifting colors versus one last week. And this one, like, all in all, with the darker background, along with the negative space, with the black color as well, turned out just fantastic. And now, if you have made it this far in the video, thanks for being here. I appreciate it. And all of your support, again, you guys um, are the best. Um, leave me a quick like if you could, and please um, help this, this video spread to more people who may enjoy it by clicking the like button, which again helps the video to go to more people that may enjoy this kind of content. So thanks for being here. And no, um, this pour turned out incredibly well in my books. I think that the colors really gave each other a big compliment as well as my palette knife. I'll give a big high five to my palette knife that made some lacing lanes a much better result than this past week in last week's video. So here's a bit of a overhead look on the lacing and cell effects again with that metallic bronze look in the violet folk art shift culling. So um, really the lacing and effects this poor gave this week compared to last week and they're much much better and gave a overall look that I don't think I could replicate again, but I will certainly try. Um, no, I'm really happy with the color combinations and lacing that this pour gave. This may be one of the nicer ones I've made in the past, I don't know, six, eight months. And no, the, the fact that these colors do change is a big game changer for the for ongoing pours for me. I think there is some very dynamic pours that can be made out of this kind of paint. And ultimately, uh, no, I'm very, very happy with how this went. Anyway, again, if you have any feedback for me, please drop a comment below. And also, if you have enjoyed this video, take a quick look at the playlist upcoming in the corner above to take a look at some more pours just like it. And we will see you again in the next one.